Hey comic book fans, welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Geezers. I am Wild Bill, your host, and sitting right over here is... P. Pardo, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us here on another episode of Inside the Cover. Don't go in with uh, Green Lantern number 86. October, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Uh, this is from October, November of 71. This is a Neil Adams cover. This is Denny O'Neill writer, Neil Adams art, Dick Giordano. Uh, edited by Julius Schwartz. Uh, this is the controversial drug issue. Yeah, this is somewhat of a key, isn't it? I would think. It I is. mean, this is a notorious episode, very famous episode. Not only episode, I mean uh, issue. issue. We know what you meant. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not just because of the of the controversial uh, storyline, but I think also because of the artwork. You know, Neil Adams. I think th this was. Uh, hey, look at a hypodermic needle yeah, on the cover. I mean, it's, it's, oof, yeah. Uh, a back cover is even a more amazing. Yeah, look at that, huh? This is not Neil Adams, though. I no. don't think. But I had some of these models. Yeah, I did too. I had most of them. I had the Frankenstein. What else did this here? I had the Mummy. There was the Hunchback. Dracula. I had the Hunchback. I had Dracula. There was also... Wasn't I can't think Isn't of there a creature from the black room? There's a wolf man. I think there was yeah, there was a creature I thought. There was like six or seven of them, right? There was, there was, King there was a skeleton mounted to a wall like a prisoner. There was, yep. That one I did not have. There was that Godzilla, was pretty... they had King Kong. Yep. I had a whole bunch of these. Yeah, that's right. I remember Godzilla and King Kong. Yep. I think I had King Kong. Yep. Godzilla had the uh the glow in the dark head. The Dracula was stood in front of a of a a grave. Yep. And the Dracula, uh, the Frankenstein one had like two little miniature tombstones at his feet. Yes. Yeah, like two miniature pieces of stonework. I wish I still had mine. I had all. And they had the. You, and it was your option to do glow in, glow in the dark parts or regular parts. Yep. Yep. For the hands, the feet, and the face. Yeah. Great stuff. So yeah, um, this book uh, is about Green Arrow's sidekick Speedy, which is his son. Right, Oliver. Oliver, yep. Oh. Oliver Queen. So, this issue starts off with the Green Arrow punching Speedy as he catches him shooting up. Controversial artwork right there. He's got his arm all tied up, ready to get that vein popping. Yep. What are you doing? I have to be careful with this one. Yeah, this, this book. I have to be real careful because the cover is a bad shape. This is why I don't like to go inside the cover with keys and bad covers. But this is something you guys have to see. This book is from my late friend Tony. Part of his collection. I got this when I was a freshman in high school. But the, the night he said, go into my closet and why don't you organize my comics for me. Really? Yeah, and you can take any DC comics you want because I'm not into them. I'm a Marvel guy. <laughs> I just happened to have this one. Yeah. Happen to have this one. So on page four here, we got a guy who shoots up and then falls face first to the ground and dies. So page five, we got a splash page of Neil Adams' groovies. Oh my God, he overdosed. He's dead. And he puts like that laughing psychedelic yeah. artwork behind it. This is so 70s, yeah. late 60s. That's so late psychedelic. That's a psychedelic page right there. This is not stuff for kids. No. So we got a we got a carcass on the floor. A fresh overdose. So this book is written from the point of view of the young people. Yeah. And the drug problem in society in America at the time. So in this panel, we go we change scenes and now we're in the apartment of Hal Jordan and he's thinking of Speedy the last time he saw him and the, he didn't look very good. Especially the way he was talking about how teens turn to drugs. So he decides to go check out. He's going to go check out Speedy and shit. And guess what? He finds the OD victim. Hmm. And meanwhile, you got Green Arrow over here looking for the guys responsible for the dope. And he's going to shake down goons. Oliver Queen is on the hunt. He's shaking down goons. You better tell me, buddy. Oof, oof. And then he's like, ah, he's on a ship somewhere. He's on a yacht. Then he better not be lying to me. I'll come back and fuck you up. And he's like, I'm not lying. Then he leaves. He's like, he calls the boss. He fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker, boss. Get on the phone and rat him. 
Everything is going according to plan. Ha ha ha. Soon Green Arrow will be here. He will step into my trap, that flunky. Alright. And then you got Speedy dealing with Green Arrow. Green Arrow finds Speedy over here. Green Lantern, you mean? Yes, thank you. <laughs> it gets confusing. Yes, they do. Lantern, Speedy, Arrow. Arrow. Whatever, yeah. Let's see, let's say Green Bud. <laughs> that would be a great superhero. Green Bud. Green Bud. <laughs> <laughs> Green Bud to the rescue. He'd be more popular than any fucking hero, Green Bud. Yeah, what's his superpowers? He can smoke a lot of bowls. He just balls. blows smoke in your face and you don't feel like fighting him. You <laughs> fucking mellow out. He brings peace to the neighborhood. That's the kind of superhero I want to see in my comic books. Green Bud. Back to Green Lanterns. He's dealing with Speedy. And then, it, again, back to the viewpoint of the youth. Speedy's like, well, you know, I, I, well, I started using because you know, I heard about the kicks. I heard the great, the great kicks about, you know, well, didn't you know about the dangers? He's like, yeah, yeah, but, you know, your generation's always been landing on thick line about yeah. all kinds of we're, shit. We're so not going to get addicted. I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah, you guys are always pushing everything over the top line, your generation. Come on, Hal. So that's why I did it. I didn't think it was that bad, but, man, I was in over my head. And speaking in over his head, we changed gears again, and here's Oliver. Green arrow in over his head with more flunkies on the yacht. So they're going to open up a can of whoop ass on him. And they do. They, they beat his ass pretty good. They get him under control. In fact, they get him out to the dock on the pier. And they kick him off the pier. And he's underwater. Mm -mm. And he's got some kind of acetylene arrow that he uses. I guess to try and propel himself back to the surface. But, of yeah. course, later on, Green Arrow shows up. The Green Arrow. I mean, Green Bud. <laughs> no, I mean Green Lantern. <laughs> That's who I mean. Oh, Green Monster over oh, here. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of green coming around here. Oh, yeah. So the Green Lantern saves his buddy Green Arrow. And then he's going after the goons, Green Lantern. He's kind of like putting them all at bay. And then you got Green Arrow reuniting with Green Lantern, saying thanks for the help. Now let's go back to see how Bucky's doing. So you got this chick with him. He's like, ah, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Nobody knows how I feel. And then over here on the yacht in the lab, there's this guy working on this new kind of dope formula. And this is the dude in the white suit down here. He's the... He's, he's the man. Uh -huh. He's the owner. He's the dude that Green Arrow is looking for. He's the dr kingpin drug lord guy that's there making all go. this money. And that's his chemist right there. And he's telling him, yeah, we got this new dope. You're going to make a ton of money here. And he's shaking the vial around. Hey, check it out, man. Check it out. And look who appears. And then Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern, shows up. Without Green Bud or Green Arrow. <laughs> all by himself. And you could also get this monster poster. He's probably green, too. I bet that was all black. Yeah. And charcoal gray. Looks it. But, they, yeah, they've got green ink. Yep. Big splash page for DC comic book subscriptions. There you go. Of course, Green Arrow's got to show up. They take out these guys, destroy the formula, and then... At the end, the way Hal Jordan flashes this guy, get head first into the ground, slams him, then Green Arrow's like, "Hey, bud, you uh, you know, you really uh, hurt the guy." And Hal Jordan's like, "You know, I'm not really worried about pain right now. What that guy's doing here, you know, he needs to be shut down. You know, maybe you should pour yourself a tell the glass and shut the fuck up, you know." <laughs> and uh, so now we go flipping scenes again to uh, the funeral of our OD victim, and of course Speedy's there because he was friends with the guy, and then Oliver. In Oliver form, instead of Green Arrow, it's like Derek paid, you know, respects at the funeral. And then you got uh, Speedy uh, giving his peace of mind, saying, you know, he punches Green Arrow at the end of the sh at the end of the issue here to show his appreciation. And he goes, what, what you hit me for? He's like, well, I'll just show, uh, just shared a small piece of uh, the pain I just went through uh, with my deadly disease of drug addiction. And uh, there you have it. So uh, he walks away on a sour note. You know, he. Uh, he got it out of his system, you know, and uh, what happens there, Oliver is crying because he feels like he lost his son. He lost Speedy forever. Oh, boo-hoo. But uh, this was a very controversial uh, book back at the time. Uh, look, 
um, advertisement over here for the Venus Flytrap. And they're green too. Yes. <laughs> Never knew where these came from, but they come from the Carolinas. Anyway, so this actually, so this issue does have the comics code on the front, which is uh, which is weird because it's the, got a letter from the mayor in the back here. Yes, that's why most likely John Lindsay, mayor of New York City. Yes. So there you have it, the controversial. Yeah. Well, I guess you green, know because the, the first lantern, green arrow number eighty-six. The first controversial oh, drug issue was was in Spider Man, uh, like a two a year or two or three before, and they did not give that the uh, code. the code. So it's I guess in a, in the couple of years that ensued, they were a little bit more lenient they on this kind up. of stuff. But I think I think this depicts more of the heavy drug. I mean, they they did not show anybody shooting up in the uh, the Spider Man. In the Marvel, issue. no, this no, guy had the no. he had the rubber band around his the whole arm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Neil Adams was very, uh, very thorough in his artwork in this this book. You know, the great he does great artwork on the Green Arrow. Yeah, I thought it was good. So uh, there you have it, guys. Um, it's a good one. I got something else for you. Oh, hold on a second. If you wouldn't mind, he's got the black binder over there. That usually means something good. <clears throat> By the way, usually when Bill pulls out the artwork, I've I have not seen it. This is always my first time seeing yeah, it. Yeah, I forgot to get the I forgot to prep before we tape. Usually I try to have these handy, but here you go, gang. Issue number forty six of Comic Book Users, my artwork. Actually my doodle. Uh you gotta start reading over here. This is the first panel to read. Nice car. Okay. Then you read this one, number two. What the fuck is that? Then up here's number three. Some kind of elephant mule. And then down here. Keep it moving, Gypsy. Yeah, that's Wood. That's Thornos who says it. Keep it moving, Gypsy. Nice car. Yeah. Wood says nice car. What the fuck is that? So basically, this 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 issue. That's features... a moon, not a banana. <laughs> I, just wanted, I did that for you. Actually, I fucked that up, and I was like, I'm gonna just keep going. That's for Pete. So okay. I did made sure not to color it yellow. It was either gonna go pink with orange, but I already had a pink title, so I went with the orange moons. Green clovers. I forgot green go. clovers. So here we have some reappearing characters, right? So you got Do Thorno. You? Well, you got Thorno. You got Wood. Thornos. Thornos, sorry. Thornos. You got Wood. And this this green uh, driver here looks kind of familiar. I think you've done... No, I don't, I, well, just a weird... No, but you're right about Thorn, Thornos and Wood are the only ones. Yeah. We've uh, revisited so characters. you got this uh, like a blue witch character. And who's that other guy? Which other guy? Th this? I'm not saying you didn't see it yet. So, no. oh wait, hold! Someone's in the window. <laughs> yeah, over here. Yeah, uh, who is that? It's kind it's of like a little kid looking. Gotcha. Right. I don't know. Well, he's, this, he's green, this green creature looks familiar. It's like I think you've done a green creature. Looks well, yeah, that's similar. the typical alien face I draw. No, okay. I guess you there know. You go. And something went tragically wrong with the animal that's towing <laughs> him. So I just. Let it stay ruined, man. You know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. So that's uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. That was just that was a failed attempt, you know. And so was the carriage. That what all went wrong. <laughs> so the only thing that went right was his head, the driver's head. Yeah, the driver's head looks good. <clears throat> and then you know, wood looks great as always. Don't then the know. house, and then I tried to do like different colored background around the tree. I was gonna come in color in, under here, like the road and all that. I was like, eh, enough. <laughs> So there you have it, gang. Good to see Wood and Thornos are still hanging out together. Yes, you know. You know and kind of like defending the house, defending their turf, you know? Yeah, yeah. Kind of. This was all, I forgot to say, this is all like uh, inspired, it's still back burner. I did a drawing for Craig, one of our viewers who participates with Sea of Tranquility, who gave me a treasury edition last year. And uh, as a thank you, I did a drawing for Craig. And I did like a house... And did some characters that I've done before around the house. So this was kind of, a, I was kind of in the house theme, I guess, when I started. I don't know. So it's kind of like a part two. The companion piece. Uh, yeah, I guess Craig will probably be the one who can relate to this the most, this drawing. This was kind of like a, a house theme. And uh, so there you have it. Number 46. Number still 46. two cents. Got that disapproval code. Yes. There you go. Disapproval code and all. Some kind of elephant mule. Keep it moving, Gypsy. <laughs> All right, there, guys. Uh, if you would be so kind as to click the like button, that would help us out tremendously. Uh, if you like comics as much as we do, keep coming back to Comic Book Geezers um, for more inside the covers. We do 
Oh, we got a playlist too. We got we've playlists done, too. We've done videos of almost everybody. And to keep Marvel. up the topic of today, lots of green. Yes. <laughs> Green everywhere. Green monsters, green arrow, green lantern, green bud, greenhouse. Now we have Green uh, Frankenstein. Yes. And it's green St. Patrick's Day. Green Lantern, up. Green Martian Manhunter, Green Hulk. Boy, green's everywhere today. See that? Yeah. Green's the theme. Yeah. So Oops. we thank no, you for no. being here. We thank you for your comments. Click the notification bell so you can be kept in the loop every time we have a new video. And as always, uh, click the wood button if you want a wood t shirt or a wood coffee mug. Or if you like comic book geezers that help support us. We appreciate it. Thanks for being here so much. We'll see you again on comic book geezers. I think we're going to do another villain spotlight. But I ain't telling you who it is. So come on back next time for comic book geezers. We'll see you next time. Take care. For a while, Bill on Pete. Have a good one, everybody. See you here real soon. Take right. care. Bye-bye.